Hey everybody, it's Pidiwinol, and welcome to the first after game episode of Pokemon Black 2. In the last episode, we took on Iris, the champion of Unova, and defeated her, quite obviously, because we finished the game. In today's episode, we are going to capture the first legendary Pokemon I want to capture in the after game. Uh, let's say, playthrough of this, just walk through. You know what I'm getting at. Anyway, yeah, we're on the main title screen, because there's one thing I want to show you, so go back into your menus, into the opening menus, I guess. Mode selection keys can now be transmitted with Universe Link key system. This is what I want to show, so if you have a copy of Y2, or a friend with a copy of Y2, you can infrared keys over to your Pokemon Black version, Pokemon Black 2 version, and you can open up uh, different areas in the game that are only available in Pokemon Y2. So, you can obviously change the difficulty, current mode is normal. We've unlocked challenge mode, which is quite nice. I'm not going to turn that on, I might demonstrate it at some point. You can change whether you have White Forest or Black City. Black City is the Pokemon Black 2, you know, default. And the Mystery Door, that's for the Regis. That's for Reggie Ice and Reggie Steel, depending on which game you play. Anyway, I thought that was quite cool to show, so uh, let's jump into uh, the the proper game, I guess. Jump cut. Okie dokie, as you can tell, we are back in our hometown in Aspertia City. Obviously where we're transported to after defeating the champion, just like with every other Pokemon game. Now... Our mum is going to be waiting for us right here, so hello mother, how are you? Welcome home, Philip. Hmm, I barely recognise you. Uh, it's only been six months. Seems like you've seen and thought about a lot and grown into an adult. Oh, seems we're about to have a visitor. Because apparently she's got, like, the sixth sense. Sixth sense, not the sixth sense. She, like, smells differently, I don't know. Oh, so you're Philip, my name's Juniper. Uh, the one who gave you your Pokedex is my daughter. It's been a long time, Professor Juniper. Has it been that long? I, I can't remember. Well, that's not really why I came. Philip, to commemorate you entering the Hall of Fame, I'm going to upgrade your Pokedex. Right there, she's going to upgrade our Pokedex to the National Pokedex so we can capture Pokemon from every single region in the game. Which is pretty cool. Well, at least collects Pokemon. Uh, collect Pokedex entries on all of them. You could at least obtain them and, you know, you know what I'm getting at. I'll tell you what I upgraded, so why don't you ask? Well, actually, it's really simple. I made it so you can register all of the National Pokedex Pokemon. Wow, that's amazing. That's be why you and your daughter are Pokemon professors. Ah ha ha, flattery won't get you anywhere. Well then, thank God, best be taking my leave. Listen up. There are still many, many Pokemon in this world. Sometimes Pokemon attack each other for food. Sometimes they help uh, one another. They protect each other's places. I'd be happy if you think about things like that while looking at the Pokedex. Like we'd actually complete the Pokedex. Anyway, he left. Oh, that's right, Philip. I have a present for you too. And ooh, Max Revives. I love Max Revives. So handy. No matter what you do, your time is yours and your Pokemon's alone. Uh, so decide what you want to do for yourself and do it. I enjoy my own time in my own way too. We, we don't want to ask about your alone time habits, mother. So, anyway, once you leave your house, your rival's going to be here. So, hey, my sister's something she wants to tell you. Hmm, Philip, my purloin. It evolved, but thank you very much for finding it. There's more, right? Philip, these days I've been having dreams about a Pokemon. A Pokemon called Zoroark. We, we happen to own one of them. It was calling your name, Philip. I don't really get it, but I hear that the Zoroark from her dream is on Victory Road. That's what she wanted to say. Be seeing you! Oh, and Homer's one more thing to say. Oh, I almost forgot. Congrats on becoming the champion. I caught it. You got good instincts. Thank you for your humility, Thomas. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's what I want to do in this episode. So we are going to head to Victory Road. Uh, once again, so... Yeah, let's just fly to the Pokemon League. Where we're going to go to now is... Well, we're going to meet... That was really poor grammar. We're going to meet a Zoroark just on the... Let's say... Near exit of Victory Roads. 
this is going to belong to N. So, yeah, as you can guess, we're going to have an encounter with N in just a second. But let's not get into that. So, uh, if you just go right here, you will see Zoroark just sitting right here waiting for us. Quan! Okie dokie. Um, so I think I would, of course, love to do pull up a super up out just in case. Don't want to run into any wild Pokemon because I am way too lazy for that. Uh, I'd also like to put Scrooge out in front because it will be useful for what we're about to do. So, all we need to do is follow this Zoroark. Very simply. I don't think there's any items around here. There probably is a couple. I can't remember. There's one. Yeah, missed one. Um, quite honestly, the only time I've done this is to record the Pokemon Black 2 legendary Pokemon video for Kanto University. So, <laughs> yeah. I needed to compile footage for that, and thus done this. Anyway, yeah, let's follow Zoroark down this... Once it lets us move down this little staircase here. As you can tell, we're going into End's Castle, which was a main fixture in Pokemon Black, the original. And right here is N. So what's up? You came. This. This is Team Plasma's castle. The ruins of Getsus' dreams. The deepest chamber of this castle. It's a place that holds a special meaning to me. I have to face you there. Follow me, actually. Rather than just leading you there, I'd prefer to follow. That way, I can see which path you choose and observe. What catches your interest? So, I ask this of you. Take me to the deepest chamber of this castle. You lead and I'll follow. Uh, of course, I am interested in this item that's sitting right here, protein. Uh, not too useful and uh, it's not useful for what I want to do. I'm just doing <laughs> the main story so EVs don't matter. Anyway, this place, my entire world. When I was little, I was abandoned deep in the woods. The ones who took me in and raised me were the Pokemon who lived there. Then, one day, a man appeared before me, claiming to be my father. That was Getsis. The things he gave me were the name Har uh, Harmonia, the knowledge a king would need, Pokemon with their hearts shut so very tightly I couldn't even talk to them, and this room? I'll be outside. You might remember this room from the original Pokemon Black version. Yeah, kind of eerie, the music. I think I said way back then also. Very creepy, but it's reminiscent. No, it's actually completely the same as N's like pre-battle music, just with different sound fonts. Pretty cool. You lead and I'll follow. Now anyway, that's pretty much the only thing of note in this place, aside from N's actual hideout, I guess. Actually, I've never really been in... Oh wait, it's completely blocked. Off. I was right the first time, but yeah, there's nothing else in here, apart from TM50 overheat. There we go, Kanto Uni if you need that, there you go. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so we're just going to head to the main area we need to go. This is our destination, go inside. Uh, there's nothing else. Okay, it's really eerie how this place has been destroyed. I mean, of course it has. It was, like, we saw in the original black version. It's just, you know, a little bit creepy. Anyway, just head all the way up here, and that's the place. It was two years ago, for the sake of Pokemon, for my ideal world, I put my beliefs on the line and battled a certain trainer. And I lost. But at the same time, I learned something important. To make the world better, you must accept different ideas. I learned that this is the formula for changing the world. Accepting different ideas. I want to see if you're a trainer whose heart is strong enough to do that. Zekrom, come. Zekrom also wants to know what ideals you seek and how good a trainer you are. Battle with me. Are you prepared? I'm as ready as I'll ever be, so show me the depth of your determination. Now, N in that little, you know, 
speech right there mentions the hero of two years ago. I mean, in game. Of Pokemon Black, I mean. And it's a little disappointing to me that we don't see him at all throughout this game. It'd be a nice little throwback if they at least shown him instead of just referencing him. Is that just me? I don't know. Anyway, as you can tell, Zekrom, level 70. Huge level difference. I haven't done any off-screen training and Dragon Claw is going to KO us. I'm just... yeah. <laughs> so, this fight actually might be a little bit difficult. I should probably at some point do some off-screen training, I guess. But for now, I'm alright with my levels. Now, once we defeat N, we're going... Well, he's going to release his Zekrom, and then we're going to be able to capture it, which... Pretty cool. We're going to be able to capture the Pokemon that was, like, the enemy of the game before, and... Prior to Nintendo releasing this game, um, they made quite a big deal out of saying... Hey, if you bought Pokemon Black, buy Black 2. If you bought White, buy White 2. Uh, this is because in Pokemon Black, you caught Reshiram. In Pokemon Black 2, you're going to capture Zekrom. So it kind of completes that little, you know, legendary... What's some call it? So, I think that's really cool. I like how they've done that. But, aside from that... Yeah, this, this fight is difficult. How are we going to do this? Um, I'm just going to continue to Flash Cannon because I think that's all I'm allowed to do. Fusion Bolt. Now, surely we're Steel type and Electric type. This won't KO us, right? Thank you. It did just under half. Okay, fantastic. We should like survive with 2 HP, hypothetically, if... It was to work out the way I wanted. Which it probably won't. He'll probably KO, uh, KO us in one. Well, in two, technically. Yeah, as I predicted. That's not cool, game. Your maths is slightly off. As you can see, Zekrom is... Is destroying us. <laughs> For lack of any... Uh, actually, I thought of something I probably should have done. Just paralyzed Zekrom. But... Eh, we'll just see how it goes. This fight is difficult if you, like, don't migrate Pokemon over, or if you haven't trained or anything. So, yeah, just be wary. Um, Katana, now Katana has Dragon Tail, so maybe this is what I should have just ran with. Oh no, Fusion Bolt. See, this is why we should use Magnezone. I'm going to... I'm going to paralyze it with Magnezone, and then de defeat it. We can defeat it if we paralyze it. The fact that it's quicker is only, like, just damaging us. But we are doing quite poorly. Not a good showing in the first after game episode, is it? Okay. Oh, we only got given, like, two max revives off our mom. That's a bit cheap. Come on, mom. Give us more than that. Please. Really nice. It would be really nice if we could buy Max Survives, but I understand that that's a bit overpowered. <laughs> but uh, it doesn't matter if it's overpowered in, you know, just the in-game story. It's supposed to be a fun experience. Uh, that's my two cents. Okay, we're going to Thunder Wave this. And, yeah, <laughs> thank god he didn't crit us. And then we're gonna just revive Samurai. I'll use, a, I'll use a max revive. I'm not concerned about keeping a hold of all these items now. And hopefully he's running, uh, running low, if not ran out of his fusion bolts. Surely this won't KO us? Yeah, fantastic. Um, mirror shot. And then we'll just Dragon Tail. Hopefully, that'll do the job. Fantastic, lowering its accuracy. Being all tactical in this fight. <laughs> and, and this is N's only Pokemon, so that's a bit ridiculous, being fair. 
But it's my own fault for having lower levels. Okay. Now, just the Dragon Tail with Samurai probably will, uh, will require two. Hopefully it will be paralysed as well. If not, we're going to get KO'd. That would be quite humorous. There we go. It's uh, Shockingly, it was faster. <laughs> not good. Uh, continue to Dragon Tail, Dragon Claw. If this K KO's us, that will be funny. Because we have nothing else left. There we go. And just to be on the safe side, I'm sure Flygon is faster. So we'll just revive Flygon to be safe. Oh, you cheap! Ugh. Right, here we are back again against N. Oh, Mooney, yeah. Uh, how dare he do that? Okay, so I'm just going to lead with Magnazone just out the gate because Thunder Waving it will be good so we can use Flygon. It's just very irritating how he did that. Very, very irritating. Now I know to expect a full restore though, but uh, you get where I'm getting at. Oh, let me hear the voice of your Pokemon. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna do as many hits on you as possible. We just want to KO this so we can actually capture it. Getting lucky with the paralysis this, this is, so that's good. Okay, just mirror shot it down. <laughs> that's, that's like a 6% chance of that ever happening. Three paralysis this, 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 this is in a row. Go on, make it a fourth. Just... Wow, we're getting really lucky with this hacks. N must be like, uh, like, killing himself about how unlucky he's getting. Its accuracy is going to be super low as well. So fantastic. And fusion bolt isn't going to KO us. More mirror shots. More mirror shots. Less accuracy. Do it. Oh, it didn't. Lower its accuracy that time. It'd be nice if it would fusion bolt fly on it. Ah, typical critical hits. Ah, uh, we got lucky, lucky with four paralysis in a row anyway, so it's fine. Um, let's see if Scrooge is faster and can KO this. Hopefully, it can. We're going to use Dragon Tail. Oh, that was so lucky. Thank God for those accuracy. Ah, oh, it's gonna. Full restore, isn't he? Typical. Ah. Well, I'm gonna Dragon Tail, and then I'm just gonna heal up my Magnazone, and that should be that. That fight annoyed me so much, I just wanted to skip through it. Ah. Gee. But there we go. Fantastic. Love your Pokemon permeates every cell of your body. He loves it. Apparently. Uh, Zekrom and I were defeated. Your feelings, your desire to know the truth. That's what surpassed us. Battling with you reminded me of two years ago. It may just be a little, but I know you better. That's how I feel. Better battle. Uh, maybe I misread that. And Zekrom, thank you for everything. My journey with you has been truly wonderful. From now on, I wanted to use your power to help this train realize his dreams. Aww, it's sad. Aww. I know, I'll miss you too, but your task is to help humans who seek ideals. I've learned so much from you. I'll do my best to tell everyone else what I learned on my own. I'll be okay, I can talk to Pokemon. I'll become the bridge between Pokemon and humans. That's my ideal. So, rest well. Ah, that's sad. Philip, I'll trust you with this Darkstone. And lovely, we now have the ability to capture Zekrom. Take that to Dark, take that Darkstone to Dragon's Bolt Tower. Now I'm gonna hopefully show you the like, and I just want to stand here. This is like where the credits start to roll uh, in the original Black version. If you missed my Black version playthrough, I recommend watching that. I th I thought those were some really good videos back in 2011. But uh, yeah, that's. That's it for that, and do we have an escape rope we can use? Because that would be pretty wonderful. Um, and 
yeah, I'm going to show you like a quicker way to uh, the Dragon, well, to Icarus City, uh, to Dragon Spiral Tower, and no, we can't use that, so, uh, that's, wait, am I going the right way? No, I am not. <laughs> Oops, I sometimes forget how to navigate this place. As you can see, I, yeah, I cut out, came back here after what, what was effectively, wait, I didn't realise you could find things on these staircases, but yeah. Uh, right, I quickly escape rope to the Pokemon League because uh, let's just say I'm very, very lazy. So now we're going to get to Icarus City in the Dragon Spiral Tower, um, which is right here. But yeah, first thing, I'm going to heal up my Pokemon, and we should be able to get to Icarus City without encountering any uh, trainers, hopefully. I, like, I, when I recorded it for my Black 2 Legendary video, I I knew I, like, I could get through there very easily. It's just, uh, hopefully I can this time. Just skip out every trainer. Um, I think what I'll do is just speed that up because I don't want this episode to be too long. So, yeah, um, I'll do just that. So, see you in like two seconds. Yeah, you can encounter Pokemon in these puddles, so just be wary of that. That's why I put a Super Repel up. Anyway, as we heard up our Pokemon already, we're just going to go straight into the Dragon Spiral Tower. And this is where the old gym used to be. Um, it's pretty cool how they've just continued the story, I guess. It's it's just cool. But um, we still don't know anything about it. Could a dragon spell tower somehow symbolize ideals? Could it somehow represent truth? So you came here as well. It was two years ago. In this tower, a certain man and a certain Pokemon came face to face. This man pursued his ideals so he could change the world. That's right. This building rising serenely into the sky is the Dragon Spiral Tower. It has towered over this land since before Unifo was founded. On the highest floor, the legendary Dragon type Pokemon was waiting for the appearance of a person seeking his or her ideals. It was exactly how the legend said it would be. Ah, the Darkstone. If that's the case, you must be headed to the top floor, changing the world. That's an outrageous idea, but it is possible to change yourself. As long as you pursue your ideals. My, that conversation sure took a serious turn. Maybe something light and sweet would help balance things out. Ooh, and an old gatto. Very nice. I like cake. Be seeing you. Um, okay, so the Dragon Spiral Tower really is not difficult to navigate in the slightest, just like it wasn't really in the uh, original games. It's just a simple climb and getting through some very simple puzzles. Um, strength is required, quite obviously, by the looks of this, so... I think this is the only strength boulder in the entire place anyway, so... Whatevs! It's... Don't we have a... Super Repeller? Wow! Damn! Dad high level! Thank god we could run from that! Okay, I did not realise there was such high leveled Pokemon in this place. Hopefully, there's not too many of them. Because that would just be very, very, very irritating. Um, I'm avoiding any, like, Pokeballs and stuff in here just because... Well, throughout the rest of this playthrough, just because... I don't know, I think it would be nice just to go back and collect them all at one time. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Oh, damn, three items. <laughs> I feel a bit bad for avoiding them now. Anyway, yeah, this is probably the highest extent of a difficult puzzle in this place. But just go to the center, work inwards, and then work outwards. Very simple. Uh, and then head to the staircase, and right here. And just a couple more floors. And we've run out of 
I don't even know if there's any wild Pokemon in this place. I just want to avoid the risk, I guess. Uh, this is the second to last floor, so we're yeah we're very much at the top now, and this is where Zekrom will be hiding. Darkstone is trembling inside the bag. Take the Darkstone out of the bag? Of course we will. The Darkstone draws in the aura of the surroundings and converts it into a powerful force, which is now being released. Now fortunately, this thing has a really, really like high capture rate, so we're not going to have too much trouble capturing this, I think. But, we'll see how it goes. We'll be able to weaken it, it was just KOing it that was the problem before. So, yeah, level 70, same as it was when it left N. It didn't get any training in before we could take it on. The crafty thing, damn it. We knew he was planning that. I don't know what I'm on about. So, okay, we're just gonna thunder away this and then get his health down and then start chucking the Ultra Balls. Hopefully, we have Ultra Balls. I didn't care to check. Oops, my bad. So, we're just gonna flash cannon this down to hopefully yellow or red health. I don't recommend you use the Master Ball on this Pokemon. In fact, I don't recommend you use the Master Ball on any of the legendary Pokemon. Uh, for the simple fact, none of them are roaming, and you may as well save it for that, like, 1 in 8,000 chance you can encounter a, lead, uh, a, uh, a shiny, or just something like that. I don't know, that's my opinion on it. I wouldn't say use the Master Ball on any legendary Pokemon. You get given two anyway, which is pretty cool. Like, you can obtain the second through, I believe, is uh, is it the guy in Castelia like it was in the original game? I don't know. Um, but, yeah, just don't use your Master Ball. There's literally no point in doing so. Um, I'm quite scared to weaken it down anymore, so... Are we still within the fifth turn? I don't know, let's just chuck the Ultra Balls instead. And we should be able to capture this fairly quickly. One! Damn it. Uh, it has a high capture rate, but it still won't just get into the Pokeball like it would with, let's say, a Bidoof or something. Um, let's Earth Power once more, hopefully we don't KO it. Probably should have used Dragon Tail, because I think... Oh, it barely survived. Lord, that was risky. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's chuck them all to rules. Let's just wait until it captures now. Will it capture? One, two, three. Yes, awesome. Zekram and Reshiram really aren't difficult to capture in the slightest. I will take that kindly. This legendary Pokemon scorched the world with lightning. It assists those who want to build an ideal world. Awesome. So, there we go. We capture Zekrom. Not too shabby. And here's N. He caught up with us quick. Zekrom has recognised you as the new hero. That's right. As a trainer uh, with a will strong enough to change this world. I have something to tell you. Go to the giant chasm. Kyurem has returned. That's what my friend has told me. Philip. 
The world that you desire for Pokemon and humans. I look forward to seeing how full of love that world is. Thank you. Thank you, sir. That's very kind of you. And... Oh, Pokemon uh, and humans will be bound together without Pokeballs. They will, they will simply trust and help one another. Make that kinds of world. Uh, I was just going to say, hopefully we can fly out this place. Because <laughs> we are at the top of a tower. Um, we're going to go to... Permalau City. So we will capture... I'm, I don't think we'll capture Kira in the next episode, but we'll definitely capture uh, another legendary Pokemon or set of legendary Pokemon. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, see you guys then, I guess. So, peace out.